Hi everyone, this is Robbie from Onburger and today's lesson is about developing background tasks with DRL Studio for Dusan Robotics. So, what is a background task? Usually, we use DRL Studio to develop Python scripts that compose the robot task. But those scripts are running only when the robot task is running. In a very similar way, we can use Diraha Studio to develop background tasks. Background tasks are always running, even when the robot task is stopped. And this can be very useful to keep integration with other devices alive when a robot program is not running. Furthermore, when developing robot tasks, we can use only standard Python libraries. Instead, with the background task, we can install and use any Python library to develop our script. Finally, as we will see in this lesson, integration and communication between robot task and background task is super easy. In this lesson, we will learn how to set up a background task, how to develop communication and integration between robot task and background task, how to install Python libraries on the background task. We can open a new DRHAL Studio project. To develop background task, let's start with Power Up Library and add the background lib to your project. So background lib is the library that we can use to develop background tasks. So now we can connect to the hamburger app and to our robot. Okay. And now we can install the background lib on the app. So click on install on app. Okay. We can create now a new Python script, and this will be our background script. Okay, for background script, as they will run on the Omberger app, there is no need to import the robot library. Instead, we need to import the background lib. Very useful for the background task is the robot client class. With this class, we can call and use lot of robot function. The only thing that we need is the IP address of the robot. So I can copy it from here and use it here. Okay. So now, you see, I've got a lot of robot function, for example, to get information about the joint or Cartesian position, or to set input, get input. So actually, I have many, many robot function that I can use here. So for example, now I will just check the robot status. Okay, so this is actually a very, very simple script. It is just printing the status of the robot. One thing very interesting about background task is that you can test it and run it locally to your PC. So you can just right click on it and select run background script. Okay. So this is actually the output 
of our background script that is running. I can test it a bit. For example, I can turn on the servers. Okay. I can turn it off. Go on recovery mode. So you see, with the robot client class, it's very easy to access robot functionalities. Now we need to install and run this script on the Umberger app. For this, we will use the background task window. You see here, we've got some action. For example, we have the upload background task and we will use this action to select one of our scripts and upload it on the app as a background task. Okay, so you see the background task has been uploaded and then we can run it with this icon. So here you have um, a bunch of information about the line of service that is running the background task. And you see the status of your task, you can click on this icon. And so here is actually the output of our script, script that is running on the app. We can perform some action to check if it works correctly. Okay, so this is actually running on the app. We can use the other action to stop the script or to enable the script. So with this action you can enable the script When a script has been enabled, it means that it will, start, it will start automatically when you turn on the app. So, uh, of course, you don't have to start uh, the task each time, but when uh, the background task has been enabled with this action, it will start by itself each time you turn on the app. Another important feature about background task is the remote procedure call. With this feature, it's very easy to call from the robot functions that are defined on the background task. We will see this feature using one of the existing examples. So, I will import the example in my project and I will use the example tree RPC server. This example is quite easy. We are just importing the background lib and here I'm defining two functions. So I've got a factorial function and a nello function. So this function will run on the background task, but I will need to use them inside the robot program. I can achieve this with just this instruction. So RPC server is just what I need. When I call this function, the function that I define in the background task will be available in the robot program. So let's see how to do that. So I will create a new Python file and this time will be a robot script. To get access to the background task function, I need to use the remote API power up. 
so I will add it to my project as well. And I will install the power up on the robot. So I will request control to the robot. And I will install the power up on the robot. Okay, so now I need to import the remote power up on my robot program. And what I need is an RPC client. With this function, I can connect to the background task. So here I will put the IP address of the Umberger app. I will copy from here and pass it here. Now I've got everything ready to test this example. So first thing I need to stop the current background task and upload a new one. So I will choose upload background task. I select the example tree RP server. And then I start the screen. Okay. So now I'm ready to test and run the robot script. So just make sure to have control of the robot and then run the script. Okay. So you see we've got the answer from the background task so so those functions were defined inside the background task but thanks to the rpc mechanism we were able to use them inside the robot script in a very very easy way another important feature of the background task is that you can use any Python library inside it. So, inside the robot script, you can use only standard Python library. Instead, in the background task, any third-party library can be installed and used. Let's use example 4 to show this showcase. Okay. Uh, what I want to do in this example is to use the MQTT protocol to send some messages. MQTT is not part uh, of the standard Python library, so I need the background task to install and use the library. Okay, so here uh, I import a bunch of dependencies. And here I've got the install function that I can use to install the new packages. So what I do is try to import the MQTT. If some exception occurs, then it means the MQTT has not been yet installed. So here I actually install the library and then import again the uh, MQTT library that I need. And here I define this increment piece that is just uh, the function that compose the message and use the MQTT protocol to send to the broker. 
And finally, I start the RPC server so that I can use this function from the robot task. So again, if you need to use a third-party Python library, you can just import them using the import statements and manage this kind of exception that occurs when the library is not installed. So in this way you can use the pip environment to install the library and of course you need to be connected to the internet when performing this operation but you will go here just one time so uh, once the library gets installed you will not go here but this uh, statement this import statement will be successful and so you can go on with the rest of the application so uh, you need to be connected to the internet just the first time to install the, the library but then you can disconnect and work normally Okay, let's see the robot script. So in this case, very similar to the previous example. So what I will do here is just a loop where I send the message. So I will use the remote procedure call. to use the function that I have defined inside the background task. Okay, so here I'm just looping and sending an increment piece message each time. To set up this with the app, we need to stop the current background task, upload example 4 as new background task, and then we can start it. Okay. Then on the robot script, we just can run the program normally and see the result. So I will launch here the robot program. Okay, so you see these are the messages that are being sent. And I can go on the MQTT broker. So this is the MQTT, MQTT broker that I'm using for this integration and I can go on the topics console and see the message that have been queued. So here you see they are incrementing each time while the robot send the messages. So the, the integration is working pretty well. As a recap of what we have done in this lesson, Usually, we define robot tasks that run on the robot. In this lesson, we have learned how to set up and run background tasks that run on the Umberger app. Those background tasks can use third-party Python library, so we can extend and integrate many, many libraries uh, as we want. And we have seen how to use remote procedure call to call functions defined in the background task and give results to the robot program. So in this way, it's very, very simple to use function defined here in a very transparent way as they were defined in the pro robot program.